Hey everyone, Zero Jetty here with the Expedia Fans Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Techno Tanks. If this uh, sort of menu screen looks familiar, it should. I've done two games exactly like this. Uh, ta uh, tanky Tank and I think Tiny Tank or Tank Tank. I'm not 100% sure of the name, but they are all just reskins of each other. One of them just had a kind of uh, low quality filter and I'm doing uh, finger quotes with it that uh, slapped on top of it. And this is just uh, essentially the same with the another filter slapped on top of it. Even the uh, modes for control are the same, where uh, the free aim can actually totally just have your cursor just get lost. And uh, yeah, it's exactly the same. Uh, even the game modes, like hard uh, bombs, uh, the camera's slightly different, twice the speed, invisible enemies, that's all exactly the same. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of show it off if you haven't seen the other ones, but yeah, it's, just a reskin of their other games. Uh, it doesn't actually even feel like stuff has really changed. Oh, goody. So we're not gonna hit anything and see what happens. Yep, it just automatically fires for no reason, cool. Uh, so you move around the, uh, the analog stick, you aim and you shoot. The aim is not particularly good. Shoot with the A, you, drop, uh, you can drop mines with um, the um, left bumper and then you can shoot with the right bumper if you want but uh the goal of this mode is just to get out at least these uh, these levels are slightly different you actually have to hit these uh power generators to get out but other than that literally almost every single else is exactly the same we're just gonna speed on through here uh there's only 10 achievements uh if you want to do that it probably wouldn't take you too long cruising on going on uh, these are, I believe, the same people who did the Airy games, which got a little repetitive as well. Oop, there's the exit. Uh, this game also has the uh, same thing that happens when you go to the uh, sound settings. Everything is set to the lowest setting, even though it's uh, on, which is weird. I'll actually show you in a second. I've actually, I've actually altered them, but I, I think I left one of them. Oh, they fired again. Go to there. So these, both the sound effects and volume are all the way at the bottom, but the sound's still going. It's weird. That and the, uh, when you go to the menu, the uh, little selector thing just vanishes for no reason. All right, let's go. Also, just so you know, that first shot, I'm not actually even touching any of the buttons when it fires off, so. So when it starts, you gotta be quick. I'm just gonna drop these mines. Whoa. Ugh. Got it. I am the ultimate tanker. Which is funny because I, I uh, recently learned about the uh, change in Overwatch to, uh, that, to only one tank. I actually uh, very much like playing as Zarya. So... Uh, Roadhog is fun mainly because of his, uh, hook. And I'm dead. One hit. Goody. Now I get to start that entire level over again. And that actually became, uh, fairly frustrating in the other versions of this game. You get really far in to a level, you get hit once, and well, goodbye. And you saw those enemies spawning in. No, literally, you can see the enemies spawning in. We're just gonna go. I think they might keep spawning in if I murder them, but we'll just go. And then we'll go check out one of the other modes. But yeah, the um, free aim, you're you're like, you could accidentally, uh, if you forget to move your cursor, you, you can just drive off the screen and it doesn't have like a little like range on it. I understand that it says uh, free aim, but you could just lose your cursor and not be able to complete a level or like, or not be able to shoot well enough because you'd be like aiming behind you or something. Awesome. Okay. Doesn't automatically click. Okay. Also like how it doesn't uh, take you to the stage mode. Uh, let's do speed and see how good that is. I don't have a game going. I don't know why that I literally booted this up, played the first level. Like I know what this is. Ha ha.
But yeah, like even like I believe even the layouts are the same. I don't want to do that. I want to go back to the main menu. Uh, I meant like to the original game. I'm pretty sure the layouts for these uh, these little challenge modes are just the exact same map, just different modifiers. So you saw that for the uh, like a uh, normal speed, whatever. And now we're gonna do camera mode. Yeah. That's all that is. That's literally all that is. But yeah, it's it feels incredibly lazy. Now that they've done it with like for three, uh, two, uh, they did a game and then they reskinned it twice. And then knowing that the airy games kind of follow the same path. They haven't, uh, well, they've, oh, they've almost hit the, the gnomes garden level of let's just receive, release, release the same thing over. And I didn't even do that. Let's just release the same thing over and over again. I almost forgot that this wasn't just the normal mode because this is just. I think the first one had a the aiming mode where you could actually just paint the target. No, not paint the target. Um, oh, no, that's not what I meant. Where you could just fire a whole bunch of missile bullets and they'd eventually like not despawn and just bounce along like crazy. That's what I meant. Sorry. Kind of like that. There we go. That worked out. They do eventually, like, kind of vanish. Yeah, see, once they hit something, and I think after a while they do, like, kind of dissipate after a certain amount of hits. I want to point out that the bullet in the uh, shots, once it does hit a wall, does start to, like, spin. So that is a decent touch. I lost my cursor there for a second. I also wouldn't really call this techno. This is more like almost disco-y. Maybe they're the same. Maybe techno music is just the evolution of disco and we're trying to, deny, to, to deny that. And, and now I'm having a mental crisis. Techno di uh, disco didn't die, it evolved. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Let's check out some of the uh, later levels for the uh, mission stuff. Uh, free aim, though, you can at least, like, if you're behind a wall, pl uh, like, place your reticle and then move around, I believe. Let's just check out level 14. I wonder if there's more than 15 levels. It doesn't look like there really is. Oh, fired a shot again. Doesn't look like they're using uh, that different tanks. I don't know what these are, but we're not going to touch them. I'm sure at some point they were introduced. Maybe I do have to touch them. No, they have little spiky bits. You can you can you can barely see them coming up and down. Maybe I have to lay a mine down and it'll blow up or something. Come on. Yeah. Awesome. So you have to lay a mine and then wait an annoying amount of time. Ah. Ah. Cool. It hit it. Let's keep going. Here, you can have that bomb. Yeah, I just don't have much to say about this game because I essentially said it all in the first video I made about these. I, I don't remember. I know I do know it was Tanky Tank. Tanky Tanks or Tanky Tank. And then maybe Tank Tank or Tiny Tanks or something like that. Or maybe I may have been Retro Tank. That may have been what it was. Look at that axe. Pretty sure that axe was in another game. Don't remember you though. Don't remember the death laser. Maybe because I didn't play far enough. I like that there are alternate paths. 
to try to confuse you, but you just have an arrow that's like, yo, go this way. Music's okay, at least. Oh, nope, that's a wall. Well, anyways, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, bye. Ask them down below, by the way. Just don't leave. That's the questions.